Welcome back to Picture Healer channel. This is Shi Tian. In today's video, we want to talk about some common feng shui exterior sha qi and the feng shui cure to balance the problem. This is the part one of this series. And next week, we are going to have part two because there are so many feng shui problems and the sha qis and the cures we can use. We have seven examples in today's video. And the first one is a reverse bowl shaped road or water in front of the house. The reverse bowl shaped road or river has a curve near the front of the building. And it's a classic bad feng shui. Opposite to that, if the river or the road is curved around the house, then it's a good feng shui. It's like a belt surrounding the house. And this type of sha qi can indicate an accident for the house member or decreased luck or fortune. And the feng shui cure is to use the shi gan dang. That's a stone protection cure. It comes in many different forms. The simplest one it's a big stone with a written word shi gan dang or tai shan shi gan dang. The meaning behind it is that the stone will take all the sha qi and uh, spare your house. And the tai shan is the tallest mountain in China. So it's symbolizing the stone is big enough to take all the negative impact of the sha qi. The modern shi gan dang has different shape. A lot of them come with a pair of lion or other animals for extra protection. If you cannot find shi gan dang, you can build your own and find a good sized stone and write shi gan dang in Chinese and just place it in front of the area with the curve so it reflects back to the river or the street. You can also place bagua or the bagua mirror in front of the house, pointing at the curve of the road. Bagua is also a very popular tool to ward away evil and protect the house. The second feng shui sha qi is when the building is very tall in the neighborhood and the only tall one, the rest of the buildings are very low and it creates a negative sha qi because it's indicating the lack of support from your family, from work or friends. And it feels out of proportion or out of sync with your community. So that is the problem. And the feng shui cure is a little bit more difficult. You can use metal hulu, the Chinese gourd, because hulu has a function of resolve the negative qi and uh, bring protection. You can also use bronze turtle because turtle is the symbol of support. In this case, it's not really suitable to use stronger animals such as lion or dragon because you want to build a good relationship with your neighborhood. So something more gentle like turtle is a good choice. The third common feng shui problem is when a road leads to the house door or a window. This is one of the classic bad feng shui for Chinese people. And because the qi is too strong, just running directly to the house, it can indicate illness of the family or reduced luck for the elder man of the house, usually affect the husband. And because of the strong qi directly going to the house, it might cause accident or acute disease easily. The best movement of the qi in feng shui is always curving around and a little bit slow down. So it's natural and organic. 
So the feng shui cure for this situation is the shi gan dang again, the rock protection cure. The same as the feng shui cure in the number one. You place it in front of a house facing the direction of the road to absorb the strong sha qi. And you can also place qi lin statue. Qi lin is also a very powerful protector. And Qi Lin is part of the dragon, so he is not afraid of the negative Sha Qi. Another strong animal is lion. You can place stone lion or metal lion in front of the house, or picture of the lion with a sword. There's a classic picture of lion biting a sword. That's a good symbol to protect your house too. The number four is the fire type of Sha Qi, including power plant, gas station, factory, or restaurants with cooking on the fire. Anything to do with electricity, radiation, or fire is considered fire Sha Qi. If you see a lot of chimneys around your house, that's a type of Sha Qi too. And the result can be bad temper for the resident or easy to quarrel with your neighbors. And acute illness because it's related to fire or accident. And the fire Sha Qi can potentially bring fire to your residence. The first feng shui cure is to use a metal pi shou. The metal can be bronze, brass, or other types of metal. And Pisho, again, we said that it's a symbol of power and protection. So it will help you control the Sha Qi to enter your house. The number two is a lion with a sword. Again, both lion and sword are a very powerful symbol for protection. And also you can use Ba Gua or Ba Gua Mirror or the Luo Pan, the Chinese compass. Many people use a smaller Luo Pan and hang it to face the Sha direction because Luo Pan has all the symbols of Ba Gua and Yi Jing. So it's a powerful tool to bring protection to. The fifth Feng Shui problem is the Yin Sha. It's an in type of the Sha Qi. The previous one is a type of Yang Sha Qi, and this type is the in Sha Qi. It's when you are close to public restroom, garbage disposal, or recycling center, because it's more dirty and uh, more in. And if your house is close to those areas, it can create health problems and uh, cause frequent illness. It's also indicating reduced money luck. And the feng shui cure, again, you can use qi lin. A qi lin statue seems like a general cure all. Because qi lin is like your pet, but also strong enough to fight with all the negative sha qi. So Qi Lin is a very useful feng shui cure. The second feng shui cure is stone lion. Again, it's a powerful animal to bring protection. Both Qi Lin and uh, lion are more yang energy, so it can balance out the yin energy of the dirty places. And you can place bagua or bagua mirror because Bagua Miro can reflect back the negative Qi. So it's suitable in this case. And Hulu or Chinese gourd is helpful too, because Hulu can absorb all the negative Qi and keep you healthy. The number six is called Tian Zhan Sha in Chinese. It's when two tall buildings create a very long and narrow space in between and it looks like a sword and if that is facing your house 
you have the sha qi from that sword. And that can create health problems such as accident or surgery or frequent illness. And the feng shui cure is to place the bronze turtle for health and uh, for protection. Turtle is a very good symbol for long life and health because it has a big shell. It's a symbol of stability and uh, support. So it can fight with the sword, sha qi. And the second one is qi lin again. And of course you can place bagua or the bagua mirror to reflect the sha qi back. And the next one is a lion with the sword. Again, the lion is a strong and powerful animal. It can fight with the sha qi and protect your house. The last one of the feng shui sha qi is a knife sha qi. That means sharp angled building or sharp angled sculpture facing your house. The sharp angle or triangular shape creates a negative sha qi. And again, it can cause health problems, accident, surgery, or frequent illness. This is very similar to the previous one, and the cures are the same. You can have bronze turtle for health, and the qi lin or ba gua, or lion with sword. Now you can probably see a pattern of how we use different feng shui cures. And if you have a bigger feng shui sha qi, you use stronger, fierce animal and a more powerful feng shui cure. If it's smaller sha qi, you use gentle feng shui cure, maybe hulu or bronze turtle. And how do we prepare the feng shui cure to make it more effective? There are some simple principles. The first step is to clean it physically with water or mild detergent. You can wash it or wipe it down. The second step is to create a ceremony. This is a step that's more difficult for most people because traditionally we bring them to a temple and have an experienced Taoist to do all the work to activate the cure. But in today's world, it's not as easy to find the professional Taoist. And I think it's as effective if we can do it our own way. And depending on what your religion or what your cultural background, you can create your own ceremony. You can include a little prayer and state your situation and intention with your feng shui cure. And if you like, you can burn some incense or have some offering like water, rice, flour, or some fruit. And step three is to just pick an auspicious date and time to place the cure in place. If you can check the traditional calendar, that will be the best. And a simple way is to make sure that day is not conflicting with your animal sign. And a safe time for placing feng shui cure is around the daytime, maybe around the noontime when the yang energy is high. So I hope this video helps you. And the next week we have the part two coming. Thank you very much for watching today and I'll talk to you next week.